Hare Krishna. Hare Bol. So let's do the prayers now. Shri Guru Shri Shri Namaskar. <laughs> Shri Krishna Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadatta Shri Vasadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 So good to have you all. Hare 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 Krishna Govind. Govind is also there. Hare Krishna Arnav. Good to have you. How are you doing? Okay, so good. And let's see someone is saying, okay. Adi says Hare Krishna to everyone. Very nice. So, who would like to do Nasim Aarti today? I will, but at the end. At the end, okay. So, okay, Arun is raising his hand. Can I do Hari Who's doing Hari Krishna Aarti? Okay, yes. Adi, you can do Hare Krishna. Arun, would you like to do? Namaste Narasimhaya Namaste Narasimhaya Namaste Namaste Narasimhaya 
So good to have you all. So, Hare Krishna, everyone. So, as we know, what we've been doing, we've been doing uh, the Shafta. So, we are on Bhagavad Gita, chapter 4, and where Krishna said, whenever, whenever there is a decline in religion and there is a predominant rise in irreligion, I descend to Bharata or descendant of Bharata. When Krishna I descend down. So now, based on that, we have started doing the seminar on Dashavtar. We have already seen first Kurmavtar, 
sorry, first Matsya Avtar, second Kurma Avtar. And today we are going to do Varha Avtar. And tomorrow we are going to do the fourth one, which Rohan will deliver tomorrow on Narsim Avtar. But today I will request uh, Arvin to share his screen, please, and do Varha Avtar. And uh, please explain a bit more about it. Arvin, could you please share your screen? Thank you. Any question? So, as um, the previous session, we the Shaftad, and now this is our third lesson, therefore, we're on the third Avatar. Mm. And then, and this is also the others. Um, other words like Matsya, Kurma. This one, as it here says, um, third incarnation, Varaha. That's the one. Once again, this is the female form. And this date is in the final This is Varaha. One time, many millions of years ago, the earth was plunged deep into the Garbodaka ocean. Lord Brahma sat and thought about what could be done to save the earth. Suddenly, a small boar, no bigger than the size of a thumb, sprang out of his right nostril. Rohan, could you please read this paragraph? It immediately started growing until it had reached a gigantic form. He roared loudly, but the demigods were not afraid. They knew that it was the Supreme Lord, assuming this form was for the good of the world. So, so here, we saying that um, the tiny boar came, and then it started growing and growing. So, um, just like in uh, Hanuman, while, um, when he was a small monkey, when he was reminded of his powers again, he kept growing and growing and growing um, until he could fly over um, the sea um, to Lanka. So this is what um, he was doing. Like the small boar started growing like um, a So we'll go to the next one. Mm. A boar. Varahadev dived deep into the ocean, had a great smell of sense of smell, and was able to locate the earth under the water. Today, please read this. Okay. Wait, which? Which the second one? Okay. As he lifted the earth up, he was attacked by a very vicious demon named Hiranya. Wait, how do you pronounce it? Hiranya. Hiranya. Okay, Hiranya. He, he was the twin brother of Hiranya Kashipu and was every bit as terrible. Thank you. Let me, please read this third. Varahadi was curious and he quickly placed the earth back up in the sky and went to fight the demon. Hiranyaksa fought eagerly, but he was no match for Lord Varahadi. The Lord killed the fierce demon easily. So, just to advise. So the earth fell down to the Garboda uh, ocean. Lord Brahma thought of how do we save the earth. Then a small boar came out of his right nostril. And he kept growing bigger and bigger. He roared loud. But the demigods knew that it was none other than the Lord. And it was a good form for, for, for the world to save. Then here, it starts saying that 
Para Hadev, he had a very good sense of smell. That's why he found us um, very quickly. And um, then he was attacked by Hiranya, who was the twin brother of Hiranya Kashipu. And Hiranya Kashipu was um, a Prahlad's father who got killed. Then Hiranya, as he was the twin brother, most likely he was terrible. So the question is, Varahadev was furious. He put Earth in this position and started fighting the demon. Hiranya, he was he wanted to beat. There was like no possibility of he defeating God. So that's why the Lord of the fierce demon. Hare Krishna. Very nice. Thank you, Aryan. Could you please, um, so I think the next slide is the quiz. Is that right? Okay, could you please, uh, yeah. Could you please move back? Could you please go back to the first slide? Yes. Okay, yes, yes. Yeah. Now let's, so as we have seen the Shaftars, so 10, there are many other incarnations of Lord Krishna, but 10 are the major, the most prominent, most of the people remember. And this is the one we are focusing. And the first one, as we have seen, is Matse Avtar. Anybody remember which animal Krishna appeared in Matse Avtar? Fish. Any, okay. A fish. A fish, yes. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. The first first avatar was fish, and the second was kurma. Do you know which animal was that? Turtles. Toto, yes. And now the third incarnation, which is boar. And it was not only boar, it was wild boar. Arun, could you please go to fifth slide, please? Okay. So, right, and if you press F5, it will come in the full screen. Now, I think it was Tanmay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just keep it there, please. Thank you. So, I think it was Tanmay who did mention. And let's go back a couple of steps. So, as we say, story time, right? So oh, yeah, yeah. The Jan, Jan Risha. Yes. The, the Jayan, I forgot the names. Jay. There were the gatekeepers of Krishna. Yes. Jay. Yeah. Vijay. And Jay yeah. as in J A Y A. The J we have is J A I, but it was J A Y A and J V I J A Y A. J Vijay. They were the doorkeepers. They were the guardians of Vishnu, right? So Vishnu was there, Vishnuji, Lord Vishnu was there, and he was resting inside. And do you know who came to visit them? So it's like you are in your home, somebody will come. Four small children. Yes. And they were and they were given um like and they were devoted of the Lord, but they'd done something wrong, so they were given a curse by um, somebody and um, yes. that they would never grow. And so that's why they were so small. That's right, yes. They were the sons of Brahma. So Lord Brahma was the first one who appeared on the planet. Yeah, or not only the planet Earth, but what we call here, we use the word Garbhodakshai. So there is another word called Brahmand, right? In that, the very first living entity was Lord Brahma. And the very first time Lord Brahma decided or the, from the Lord Vishnu, or Supreme Personality of God and Lord Krishna instructed Lord Brahma to give birth to children. And the very first time, the first four sons Lord Brahma had, they were four Kumara. We call it because they were sages as well, but they were very young. They were like uh, four years, five years old, and uh, they were shot in height, and they won't wear any clothes. They just used to roam around anywhere and everywhere. 
and then they went to see Lord Vishnu and then the doorkeeper Vijay, Jay and Vijay, they stopped them and they said, what are you doing here? And Jay and Vijay, they are very kind, very polite, but just because Krishna was supposed to do the Leela, so all of us as devotees could recite this pastime of Krishna. So what those two, they did, they stopped them. They said, why are you doing it? And they were very rude with four of them. They said, well, you are so little boys. You don't even know that you should not roam around without clothes. And you are here to meet Lord Vishnu. You can't do it. We don't let you go in. That's the whole purpose of us. That's why we are here. We can't let you go in. It's like if you are in your house and if you have the doorkeepers, you will instruct your doorkeepers that don't let anyone to come. Whoever will have appointment or whoever will you see from your own observation is a sage or the nice person, then not anybody who will roam around. So that's why. But those four, they were elevated sages, but they always used to look young. And that's why these two guardians, the doorkeepers of Lord Vishnu, could not recognize them as the devotees. And then what these four did, they cursed these two doorkeepers. They said, you are going to fall down and you will go on planet Earth and you will take birth three times and you will become enemies of Lord Vishnu. So currently you are the devotees, you are the servants of Lord Vishnu, but you will in reincarnate as three times and every time you will be enemy of Lord Vishnu. And they said, so sorry, so sorry, we didn't know about it. So sorry, we thought you were little children. I, uh, we don't know what happened to us. Usually we are very kind, very polite. And then what they said, those four, they said, okay, no worries. We have cursed you now anyway. So you will have to take birth three times. But because you have said, sorry, what we can do, that every time, all those three times when you will fall down and you will fight from Lord Vishnu, you will be killed by Lord Vishnu, which means you will be delivered. Which means, doesn't matter how you get killed, the best way of killing is when the Lord Vishnu or Lord Krishna is there right in front of you. And that's what they said. And then Jay and Vijay said, thank you so much. They understood that this is all happening because of Krishna. This is all happening because of Lord Vishnu. Right? So very first time when they came down, they were the... They came down, I say this. They came as Hiranyakashipu and his brother who was in yes. the story. Hiranyakashipu. Yes. yes. So the first one was Hiryaksh. And meaning Hiranyaksh is the golden eyed, the eyes. That's how they used to put the names first, the characteristic of the body. So golden eyed is Hiryaksh. And who is the uh, hair who was killed by Varha Avtar. And the second one we will see tomorrow. When uh, Rohan will do the presentation, where Hiranyakashipu. So Hiryaksh and Hiranyakashipu. And the second time these two couple were born, they were Ravan and Kumkaran. And obviously they were killed by Lord Rama. And third time when they came, they came as Shishupal and Datwantra. They were cousins of uh, Lord Krishna and they were killed by Lord Krishna. So every time they came, they were killed by Lord Krishna or the incarnation of Lord Vishnu Krishna. Right? Because Krishna wouldn't have killed them and they wouldn't have wanted back to God and they couldn't have held the children of the gate. Yes, yes, that's right. So if, if a great warrior would have killed them, then they were actually demons. So yes. they would have gone to hell. Yes. But if you get killed by Krishna, that means you go back to Godhead. True. Very true. Yes. Yes. So that's why the, when the curse, even those sages, when they curse you, there is always something good about it. So now see, if they, they, they didn't come down on planet Earth to become these demons, then we wouldn't be talking about them. And now we are talking about them. And when they came, because they were, or they have always been the servants of Lord Vishnu, they were also very powerful. Very, very, very powerful. And every time you will see, they were fighting. Right? They, 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 it was, it's given in the Puranas that 
and even in uh, Bhagavatam, that Hiranyaksha was so, so, so huge, so big, that even for Lord Vishnu, obviously Lord Vishnu was pretending because Lord Vishnu wanted to have a bit of play with him. So even Lord Vishnu let him be so gigantic. But again, like what we saw in the story, the way it happens. Okay, Arin, could you please move the slide? Right. Yeah. So you will see Hiryaksha is there and Lord Vishnu in the wild bow. Now, anybody know why? Why Krishna decided to come in the form of wild boar? It was not just any ordinary boar. It was wild boar. Yeah? The, um, any devotee of any um, size, any shape, if he, he prays to the Lord, then um, he can uh, still go back to God. Yes, that's right. Thank you. Yeah. So what happened? There was a time where Hiryaksh, he was he did the meditation. So these asuras they used to do meditation a lot, and uh, a lot of times or most of the time to Lord Brahma. What happened? Then Hiryaksh did a huge, big, 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 very, very hard meditation, and he sat down there for many, many, many years, and then millions of years, and it used to be long time. They, they were, it was the time of meditation. Everybody used to do meditation, but some used to do it for many years. And then Lord Brahma came. And then Hiryak said, Lord Brahma, give me the boom so I will become immortal. So mortal is somebody who can die. Immortal is that the person would not able to die. And he said, I would like to become immortal so nobody can kill me. And that Lord Brahma said, well, it's only Lord Vishnu who never dies, not Krishna. But I'm, even me, Lord Brahma, I will die one day. It's a long time, but even I will die. So certainly I can't give you the boom of immortality. Ask something else. Then what? Wasn't also, wasn't also um, Lord Hanumanji immortal? Lord, yes. Yes, he, yes, Hanumanji is also immortal, but again, he's the devotee. So the way it... I thought that all of the demigods were immortal. No, what happens, the dem demigods is a post. For example, Indra. So anybody could, can become Indra. Yes. If you will do good deeds, you can become Indra. That's right, yes. So yes, you're right. Hanuman also because Brahma took birth on planet Earth. Yes, and he was about to that's right. Brahma ji will die first. Very and very many, many, many. Yes, it's, it's a huge, huge lifetime. And for Hanuman ji, Hanuman ji, we will see when we will see the incarnation of Lord Shiva. So Hanuman ji was actually Lord Shiva. So yes, Lord Shiva. And again, we will see. Another presentation we will do where we will see the spiritual world and the material world. And there is a transition from a spiritual world to material world. And Shiva is there in a spiritual world. So yes, he, would, he wouldn't die. No. So then what Hiryak said, Hiryak said he thought about it. He thought, mm, mm, mm. So if I cannot get immortality, let me trick Lord Brahma. That's what he thought. You know, demon. His mind was de demonic. And that's what he thought. What shall I do? Then he gave a name of many, many animals. He said, okay, give me a boom. So I won't be killed by any human being. I won't be killed by any demigod. And then he mentioned many animals. Now, the way it goes... He mentioned all the animals except one, and that was wild boar. He said, okay, I won't be killed by a human being. So, uh, Lord Brahma said, yes. Also, um, um, he can also be killed by a woman because, oh no, he can't because he said human being. Yes, it, there are many other demons. And when we will see their stories, they did that. They thought that, okay, no, there is no woman who can kill me. 
So they said, okay, please, Lord Brahma, give me the boom that only I will be killed by a woman. But then Durga Devi came, right? So in this case, in Hiryan's case, what happened? He said, okay, I won't be killed by this, 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 this. And he, he gave a big list to Lord Brahma. And Lord Brahma said, Tathas, which he granted. And then he was very happy that I've taken the name of everyone nobody can kill. And there was a one which he didn't, which was a wild boar. He didn't mention wild boar. He said wild. wild boar, yeah. Well, in Sanskrit, wild boar. That's why he appeared. That's why he. Uh, that's why Lord Vishnu appears as wild boar. Or oh, it says initially as a small boar and then sprang out of his. Uh, uh, Lord Brahma's and Lord Brahma was also surprised to know that, right? Because obviously Lord Vishnu and this this is how the pastime goes and it 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 can bewilder us, and that's why it says that our senses are very imperfect. It's very hard for us to figure out how these things happen, but Lord can do all these things, right? And then obviously Lord Vishnu. As a Varavtar fought so much with the Hiryach. And obviously, at the end, as we saw that Nurse Hiryach was defeated. Could you move to the next slide, please, Aryan? Uh, I've got a question. Why yes, did please. Lord Brahma give all these demons powers? Oh, yes. Because he knew that they're going to do bad. Mm. So maybe he wouldn't have given them powers. Yes. Then. Um, they wouldn't have done that bad. Yes, that's right. We will see next. Well, we will see tomorrow when uh, Narsimha Dev came. Because that was also when Hirane Kashipu got the boom. That was also very tough boom. And Rohan will tell us more about it. But what happened? That Narsimha Dev killed Hirane Kashipu and then he warned Lord Brahma. So like what you saying, Tanmay? Hiranek, when Hiranyakashipu was killed, then Narsimha Dev also said to Lord Brahma, Lord Brahma, you need to be careful when you give these booms to the demons. But the reason is that anybody who will do hard work will reward, will get a reward. And that's what happened. That's, what, that's why Lord Brahma will have to give the rewards, will have to give the booms, because these demons, they work very hard. They do so, so, so hard. So if a demigod will do, for example, 10 minutes meditation, right? Then the demons will do one year meditation. And then Lord Brahma will, Lord Brahma will go to devotees very quick, but to the demons, they will wait, they will wait, they will wait. But if, if demon will continue, that Lord Brahma will have to go and give the reward. Just because the person, the demon, has worked hard for so long for Lord Brahma. So they take, oh, and then they take the name of the Lord Brahma. And then Lord Brahma will go. And we will see another where Lord Shiva has also given, just because there was a demon who was praying to Lord Shiva. So that's why, because they do high, very hard, tough meditation, the Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, they come and their heart gets melted. And then they give away the money. But you're right, they should not. But just because to reward for their hard work, they have to. This is the law of karma. Yes, Shivani. Um, I heard a story and um, there was a demon. I don't remember his name. But um, there was a demon. He was doing, um, he was, he was doing meditation to Lord Shiva. Um, and then Shiva, um, Lord Shiva came and then um, he said, what do you want? And then um, he said that, no, uh, um, I can, like, I can kill it. Um, I can kill anybody with my left hand. And then um, Lord Shiva says, to pass to and then um, he's, um mm. and then the demon said that okay now i'm going to try the boom on you yes and then he tries running and then krishna takes it in what story is this yes this is um, um he takes um he takes the form of a lady and then 
and um and then the demon gets to survive the lady and eventually he dies that's right good question you asked uh, the story shivani is that it's a story of another demon called bhasmasur then lord he did, he did meditation for lord shiva and then lord shiva came and lord shiva, so the, you need to think um before you act Yes, you need to think before you act. That's another story we read, and uh, yes, there are so many stories like this, and we will try to cover a lot of stories of Lord, and that's why Lord did all these pastimes, so we can watch this and we can cherish the rest of it. Uh, maybe next time, or oh, let's 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 cover a complete uh, Varha Dev. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So yes, yes. Prabhu. Yes, please. Oh, sorry, I'm the, the question you asked before this, you said you asked something. You said Brahma had to give this to Hirna Kashipu, and on the chat I said why. Okay. Yes. So Tanmay also asked the same question that why Brahma does all these things, why he gives all these boons. And the reason is because these demons they work very hard. So when somebody works very hard, you will have to. What did them. they do so that was so hard? Yes. Well, they do the, the that. Uh, so there are four yuga. Dwapara, Treta yug, and Kali yug. And in Sat yug, yes. med meditation used to be the main thing. And these demons they used to do. meditation like if you think about ravan what ravan did cut his neck wow the whole head from the neck 10 times and he gave it to lord brahma he said okay brahma ji you are not coming i'm requesting you to come and give me a boom you are not coming i'm going to give my life for you and he cut his head ring once 10 times, 10 times. when lord brahma came lord brahma gave him 10 heads because he killed he cut his head 10 times so he got 10 so heads. in um, in yeah. back when when he ran your kashi pu was there then you had to do in one day we can do as much as they did in 10000 years that's like right. one day if we pray to krishna for one whole day yes. then um, and when they were doing fire sacrifice or meditation Yes. One day is equal to ten thousand years. That's right. Yes, very nice, Tanme. Mm. Thank you. What do you mean? What? Yeah, what Tanme meant is that during Satyuk, the amount of meditation you will do, if you will do for ten thousand years, the meditation, what the benefits you will get for that in Kali, which is the time these days now, if we do Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. today maybe just for a day it's equivalent to it so 10000 years of meditation in satyug and one day of hare krishna maha mantra now is equivalent so that we should always inspire to take the name of the lord we should always do the chanting hare krishna very nice thank you tanmay yes so okay arvin got a uh, shivani got a question Sure. Yes. Yeah. Well, in Kali Yuga, it's hard to see Krishna, but you can feel Krishna, and you will see the devotees of Krishna. And I have another question. Sure. Yes. Uh, that that um, is it possible um, that um, in this world, uh, this world, you will um, is it possible you can chant for many many years? Okay. And because um, I heard a story that um, um, that when you chant, then mm -hmm. like sand comes, dust comes all over your neck. Ah. That's my question. Can I give the answer to the question that 
um, was asked first. Yes, please. First. Yes, go on. Uh, we don't see Krishna, but one day if we desire to see Krishna, then we will see Krishna. And um, Krishna is not giving us him to see, but he's giving us, we don't need to see Krishna to be close to Krishna because it's not all about the seeing, it's all about your heart and uh, your soul, how it is. Very and and Krishna giving us the Bhagavatam, our parents, all these gurus are like, like Krishna and we should respect them like Krishna. Hari Hari Bo. Very nice. Thank you, Tanmay. Yes, yeah. So very, very nicely said that um, one day, obviously at the time of the death, if you remember when we leave the body, when the soul will leave the body, if you think about Krishna, then we will go to Krishna's lock. We will go to Goloka. Question. What was second question? Um, that, um, is it possible if any human being can pray for hundreds of years. No, no, we, no, in, not in Kali, because first of all, we, we don't have the strength, our body is not that strong, we cannot even bear the cold or the coronavirus, coronavirus then um, no, and that's why taking the name of the Lord, chanting Hare Krishna is the topmost medicine we have, and this is the best thing, best practice we need to do to go back to Krishna, so we should always hear about Krishna. Smaran. We should always listen about Krishna, think about Krishna, talk about Krishna. We should. We need to be always in Krishna consciousness. Yes. Okay. Great. So right. So I think that's yes. Yeah. Let's do the quiz. And yes. Though obviously, when once what are they took care of men? Then the earth, which was fallen in the deep water, then what are they? brought that earth back into the place and then everything was normal as Krishna promised that I always come down to help my devotees and planet earth is called Bhudevi uh, also called Bhumi so planet earth is also a devotee of Lord Krishna and that's why Lord Krishna came in the form of Varadev to help the devotees okay great let's go for the Questions and who would like to attempt the first question, please. Where Is it number one? Garbodak Ocean. That's right. Yes. yes. What was the first question? First question is where the earth was plunged deep into, like where the earth fell into. Oh. And there are four. In Krishna? Was it in Krishna? No, where the earth was fallen. Who, br who brought it back? Krishna in the form of Varadev. But where? Where it was fallen? It was fallen into... It was fallen in... Um, it might be fallen in the spherical ocean. Okay, yes. The name of the ocean is Garbodakshai Ocean. If you can see on the screen, it says, One time, many millions of years ago, the earth was plunged deep into Garbodakshai Ocean. And uh, Jay also replied back, calling it spiritual ocean. Yes, that's right. We, we will see there are more spiritual oceans and uh, we will get into more detail. I have a question. Yes, Adi, please. Which ocean? If the earth is in the, o earth is in the ocean, which planet is that earth ocean in? Which planet? I think. No. Yeah, which just in like is just like heaven because Vish when we see Vishnu he's like in the water but he's not really on earth earth is not the only one to have water there's yes. even water in heaven that's right yes i will i will show you we will do it's very interesting what it is earth is in the middle we call we call it 14 planetary system so there are 14 planets earth is in the middle there are there are seven underneath and there are six up yes nairik um do you know in the picture yes is the is the thingy on the ball is holding yes Varaha, i think I've, um is he um the, is he holding like a planet earth planet earth yes this is the planet we are on. 
Why does it look so small? Because Varadev is so big. Consider, consider how big Earth is, and now consider how big Varadev is. And then we have another one called. It's a beach ball for him. Yes. <laughs> So this is Garbhodakshaya Ocean and like what Jay said that Earth is also in the water and we will see later I will show you the picture also. So there is Garbhodakshaya Vishnu and from the navel of the Garbhodakshaya Vishnu it's a, the, the lotus come out and from the lotus Brahmaji come out and then Brahmaji is on the top. Brahmaji is in Brahmlok. And then many others, the earth is kind of in the middle. So from where earth is, earth fell down and where earth falls down, there is a water and Vishnu is laying down there and Vishnu comes in the form of Varade. Yes, please. Who said it? Jai? Uh, yeah. Um, yes. I'm not sure, but is it true that Vishnu Dev is in Vaikuntha? Yes. So we like when Krishna was here in Vindavan, Krishna was also there in the spiritual world. So Krishna, Lord Rama, Narasimha Dev, and uh, Vishnu, they all are there in the spiritual world. And in the spiritual world, they have their own houses, like their own planet, you can say. In the spiritual world, they have their own planet. So Krishna lives in Golokdham, right? And uh, Vishnu lives in Vakunta, and there are many Vakunta. But Prabhu, they oh, one second, Krishna Chaitanya, let me finish and then I will come to you. So, yes, Jai, as you said, Vishnu, Lord Vishnu is there in Vakunta, but there are also different types of Lord Vishnu. There is one Mahavishnu, one Garbhodakshaya Vishnu, one Shirodakshaya Vishnu. And then, as and when uh, Avatar needs to be taken, then Vishnu also, we call it planetary expansion. So like we can't do it, but Krishna can expand. So from one Krishna, multiple Krishna can become, from one Vish Krishna, Vishnu can come out. And that's what, that's how it happens. Very nice. Thank you. Yes, Krishna Chaitanya, please. So I was saying, yes. when Krishna is in different, different lokas, by time, by time to time, he has to change into different ones. Well, he he doesn't change like we change our T-shirt. He doesn't doesn't. No, no, he's the same. Yes. But he just he has to move into different different ones. Well, he expands. He's there. From him, another one comes out, and then another one comes out. So he can multiply himself number of times. Yeah. Yes. So you're you're right in that terms, Krishna Chaitanya. Yes. So Krishna can expands himself. And Balramji is also the expansion of Krishna. Everything we see is the expansion of Krishna. But some... I have a question. Yes, please, Adi. So, how many bodies does he have inside himself? Krishna, multiple. It's, we call it inconceivable, which is we can't even think about it. So many. It's like how many stars we have. We say millions, billions, trillions. And it's, it's possible that we're quite able to count the stars. It's possible that we can count the drops in the ocean. It's possible we can count the sand particles in the desert. But it's not possible to figure out how many forms Krishna has. However, in the scripture, the main forms are given. Like uh, 10, 10 incarnations, what we are discussing. Then 24 incarnation, 28 incarnation, 48 incarnations are given. So we know that, but uh, they are not limited. They are, they, are, they, are, well, they are limited what we have, but Krishna is not limited only into that form. Krishna is very huge, very unlimited, inconceivable. So very, very good question, Adi. But, uh, but this shows that how powerful Krishna is. And this shows that even Krishna is so powerful, Krishna loves us so much that when we need, Krishna comes himself in the form of Krishna and in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhuji. And we will do more stories about it. Okay, great. Let's move to the second question. Varadev appeared from 
What do you appear from the nose, from the forehead, from the ear, from the eyes? And uh, if Arun would like to go back to the presentation where the answer is given. Yes. It's see. Okay. Shivani has picked it up. Yes. So it says the first paragraph, last sentence. Suddenly, a small bow, no bigger than the size of a thumb, sprang out of his right nostril. So what Brahma was sitting, and from the right nostril, small bow, which is Varadev, came out. So the answer to the second question is. Are you, please move to this question. Yes. So, what's the answer to the second question? Varadev appeared from nose, forehead, ear, eyes. What's the answer, please? Nice. Nose. Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's move to the th next one, please. Okay. Thanks. In which form Lord appeared in third avatar? Boar, lion, swan, tortoise. Boar. 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 Thank you. Are, are the tortoise in the last one, last uh, second incarnation? But uh, here it says suddenly a small bow. And as we can see the picture, pictures as well, the small bow, uh, initially small bow, but obviously expanded in the huge bow. So the answer is first bow. And uh, fourth question, which demon was killed by Varhadev? Yes. That's right. Yes, well done. Thank you, Narek. Thank you, Rohan. So the answer is Hiryaksh. And what was uh, Hiryaksh? Hiryaksh. And Rohan will tell us tomorrow a bit more about it. And uh, if you see out of 10, obviously, Lord Krishna, we pray. Lord Rama, we pray. But Lord Narsimha is the one we pray to protect us because Lord Narsimha, they came down, descended on the planet to save the devotee. Okay, great. Hurry, Bol. Before we will uh, do Kirtan, then uh, and uh, Narsimha, they Arti. Any question in what we have done so far, please, today? Okay. All right. And Shivani just passed on to me. She has done. She is just coming. She has done these pictures, like when uh, Tanmay showed, and I think Nairik showed, and Chris Chaitanya was also showing. Then Shivani has made a booklet on Krishna, on Krishna's stories, and she has made a bit of drawing, and she has written on the, some of the pastimes of Krishna. And yes, Tanmay, we can see your background. Very nice. So yes, it's so, so good that whenever we have time, we should always do the stories and the drawing of Krishna. This reminds us. And this is another story we will do. We will, we are doing, we are doing the seminar on Lord uh, Krishna's, Lord Vishnu's 10 incarnation. We will do, we will do another one. Okay, this is Lord Vishnu, Shivani is saying. Okay, thank you. It says Vishnu. Great. Thank you very much. Haribo. So yes, we will do another one where Lord Krishna killed all the demons. We will see all those demons. Okay, great. Now... I call it my drawing. Oh, great. Hari Haribo. Thank you, Nairik. Yes, beautiful. Bluish Krishna. Green. Peacock feather. Very nice. Very nice. Hari Haribo. So nice, so nice, so good to see. So, okay, all right. So, who is going to see the Narsim Aarti now, please? Can I? Okay. All right. Let me. Someone else can do it. It's fine. Okay, no. <laughs> has done it, um, I think. Jay did yesterday. I always do. I'll just let someone else do it. I've done it okay. yesterday. Yes. Okay. So, all right. Who who said it? Is did Tanme said Tanme would like to do? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. You would like to do? Okay. 
Nidic, would you like to try? You said B. Nah. You replied B. Okay, Adi, would you like to please? Yeah. Yes, go on, please, then. Yes. Namaste, Narsidaya. Namaste, Actually, if anyone wants, actually, I'll not do it today. No, no, it's okay, you're doing well. Okay. okay. Yeah, go, go. I'm a little bit shy, a little bit now. No worries. Adi, that's how we all learn. Please continue. Sheila, then. Short. You're a little bit short. Okay, no worries. Maybe I should do it. Okay, you want to do it? Okay. Adi? Yeah? You don't need to feel shy. You're just doing You're just doing an offer to a god. You can yeah. go on no video. On video. No video, I mean. You can switch off your video. Doesn't matter how you sing it. Just sing for Krishna. That's it. Yes. You're just doing the Lord some offer. Yes, it's just yeah. the Lord. It doesn't matter how you sing it, just matters if you what? sing it. At the start, when I when I first did it, I was a bit shy, but I went on no camera. And then mm. when I got a bit used to it, then I just, I just, I just came back with the camera. Yes. Not camera, but when I learned, I was a little bit shy. And I practiced it so I get more confident. And yes. I actually Very nice. And see, this. Come on, Adi, you are doing a great job. Yes, yeah, come on, Adi, go for it. This is the beauty of the devotee association. We encourage each other. Go for it, Adi. Sheila Tanika. Go on. Come on, Adi. Help you if you need help. Adi, I think you're on mute. Adi. Yeah, he's on mute. Yeah. Someone mute him off. No, no, no. No, he's muting himself. I think he's really, really shy. No worries, Adi. You continue doing Hare Krishna. Anybody else would like to continue? Please. But, but Prabhu, I have a quick question. Yes, go on, Krishna Chaitanya. Why is Adi shy if, by singing Nursing the Devati, but he's not shy while he's singing Hare Krishna Arti? Maybe because the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is much easier to say and uh, Nasima Arti, there might be some words which are hard to pronounce. So maybe that's what it's he's saying. Yes. Okay, yes. we shouldn't talk a bit more about him, otherwise you might as well cry. That's right, mm. yes. So Let's please, get back. Yeah, who would, who would do it, please? It's no point, there's only one minute. Okay, we will quickly do it. Okay, go on. Shivani would like to try. Ito nasimba it's twelve o'clock. Jagadish, 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 Jagad
so nice to have you all and i will see you all tomorrow at 11 remember rohan is going to do hare krishna hare krishna hare 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 krishna everyone thank you prabhu ji